Today is a very sad day. After years of flawlessly reliable operation, it has become time to retire this Dell Dementia 3000 computer from the music player use case. There was some false hope here because allegedly the Spotify was supposed to stop working on January 15, 2023 and the 15th come and go, the 16 come and go, the 17 come and go and it's still working and then I think it finally stopped working on the 19th I believe was the last day I used it and then when I went to use it the next day it, uh, it was signed out and when I went to sign in it threw an error saying the feature is available for premium users only which is an odd error because I have the premium subscription and what else is odd is that it still interfaces with the server just fine because I would type in the wrong password and it would throw a password error so they did something to it to make it not work and I feel like it's totally unnecessary with that being said I can't really be upset about the situation because Spotify supported the Windows XP version for nearly a decade after Windows XP support ended which was on April of 2014 and they kept the XP Service Pack 3 version functional all the way up until January 2023 so just shy of a decade uh, and that's really commendable for a, a mainstream technological product that's unheard of at this point um, but unfortunately it now has stopped working I'm not sure what's next for the music player setup I'm, I'm just so disappointed that this stopped working because this is like a perfect setup where you have this classic icon of my favorite era of computing which and these machines too were arguably the some of the best consumer grade hardware we ever saw and ever will see those were just such great machines so well built quality reliable stuff and uh, there it sits on display in my living room with the old monitor drawing the old screen savers it was just a great classic setup and uh, unfortunately it is no longer usable the machine will not be discarded it will not be uh, taken out of service it will just be set up somewhere else for a different use case it's still perfectly good for sending emails and making lists and editing documents writing reading documents editing spreadsheets making the budget making the grocery list all sorts of things are still doable on this computer and will continue to be done on this computer until it physically fails which I suspect will be a very long time from now as far as the computer to put here at the music player well I haven't figured it out yet I kind of stopped thinking about it after a couple days because it kept working but then it stopped um, there's been some suggestions about what to do here some people were suggesting to use the website some people said to put Windows 7 on it and keep using it you really can't do any of that um, the Celeron chips and the Pentium, the, 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 the Pentium chips Pentium 4, Pentium 3, and the Celeron, uh, and I think this is a, this is a Centrino, I know this is a Celeron, I'm not sure if the Centrino chip works or not, but I know the Celeron chip, Pentium 3, Pentium 4, they do not have, I'm speculating that they don't have a particular set of instructions that Spotify uses because the program will not work even under Windows 7 it, it just doesn't work uh, like it won't launch it installs but it won't launch so it's missing some component I don't know what that is it probably cannot be fixed software I think it's probably a uh, 
hardware instruction issue. So that's kind of the end of that. Um, the website versions, I mean, you're working with those flaky um, open source browsers. I mean, not, not flaky, but flaky in the sense that who knows how long they're going to work or they're not always very stable. And uh, on a machine like this, I mean, you're talking 256 megabytes of memory. You're not accessing any, any modern day website with ease on this thing. And since I use this all the time, it, uh, it's got to be something that's practical. And that, uh, opening a website every time on 256 megabytes of memory would not be practical whatsoever. So there is really no reasonable way to keep this machine working here as, as much as I so desperately want to. It's just not, uh, it's just not feasible. So I'm going to have to replace the computer. It'll be something that runs Windows 7 because that'll be the next best option. It should get me through quite a few years still. Um, I'm not sure what machine. I'd love to use something older like this one, but it's got to be something relatively new. I hate to put another Optiplex like this out there because I got this one over here and I have so many other computers I'd like to use, but that might be the best option for now because that's another iconic model from the era. And I got quite a few of them that would work fine. So I might do that. I'm really not sure. <sighs> this really stinks that this can't be used anymore. But I, I feel like I used it for, well I did use it for as long as absolutely possible. So I'm glad about that. Um, I'm really more bothered by not having that box over here. So I, I may just unplug it and leave it there. Because... Most of the time it sits on the screensaver. I did confirm that I can go into this machine, grab the screensaver files, and throw them onto a Windows 7 machine, and, and they'll run. So, cosmetically, as it's sitting there playing the music, it'll keep running the old screensavers, and it'll look pretty much the same in that regard. It's just the physical box that uh, won't be able to be there anymore. I need an immediate drop-in, so I have... Um, I have a newer Dell unit that I was using in the computer room there. I might just drop that in place for now just so I have something. Because I use this thing every day. Um, and then uh, once I have time, I will uh, figure out installing Windows 7 onto an older unit. Because I kind of like having the smaller screen. It just, it's like proportionally correct on this table. So... It'll probably end up being another one of those Optiplexes. That's that's going to be the next best thing I have uh, running Windows 7, of course. It's disappointing, but it is what it is. Time to figure out something else.